Hello everyone. I apologize for the inactiveness. I've been dealing with family issues and personal issues this month. Many things had happened this couple weeks. But right now I'm in New Zealand, beautiful country with beautiful people and nature. And today is going to be about the sequel to Lyran Star Seeds and its history channeled from my higher self and the help of my Lyran guides. I hope you guys are excited for this because I am. If you haven't watched the previous Lyran video, I'll leave a link below. Trillion of Earth years ago, the Draconian had invaded us, the Lyrans. They work with the Orions. The Orions are beings that deceived us into believing their false truths and to let our gods down for the Draconians. And we let them in. You see, Lyra had a vibration where it cannot be casually entered by beings of lower realms, at least without their consent or agreement. So the Draconians, they can't enter because most of them had a consciousness of low vibration. But the Orions still had a consciousness of a high vibration. And we trusted the Orions and formed a partnership with them, like a di diplomatic relationship. One day I saw a crowd, this was based on my vision, I saw a crowd of Lyrans gathering around as the Orions were walking our village like ambassadors. I was there staring them with curiosity. They were very skilled at manipulating their energetic fields or aura field, making us more prone to believe in them. The Orions are very strong psychic beings and they were enlightened and once a force of love, but later fell into the temptation by the Draconians. Because of that, they have many internal conflicts amongst themselves and many civil wars causing a lot of internal destructions. There are many positive Orions that fell into victim of this during the rise of its dark forces, also known as the Empire of Orion. Like Mintaka, it is a beautiful high vibrational planet that was wiped out by its own kind. Anyways, Lyra's destruction happened without warning because we simply did not expect to be betrayed. Millions of Lyra's Lyrans were slaughtered, raped, tortured, and beaten in the capturation process, and their home planet was also wiped out. Many Lyran starseeds carried this trauma back to Earth. Lyrans were the mother mothers of earth, which they are not only the creator, but they are the caretakers. It is very sad that it turned into this state where earthlings or earth souls are harming, hurting and destroying themselves because we were the creators, we Lyrans were the original creators that started it. And because of that, a few of us have in our past life, we regretted creating them and a few of us carries the guilt and blame to ourselves for what has happened. You see, our main intention for Earth was to build paradise in it. Earth was our own project. We wanted to build a utopia full of love and joy. And the Draconians and Orions came after Lyra, not just because of us, but they were also interested in our Earth project like the Garden of Eden. It was a paradise on Earth. We Lyrans wanted to keep advancing forward to build a better place for ourselves and for Earth beings. We had great passions and ambitions, but at the same time, we wished the best for every other individuals. We were the mothers. That's why it is no surprise many Lyran starseed had an attachment to Earth which keeps them reincarnating back and back. As you know, from, from my experience or from my views, I believe that the reincarnation trap 
is not exactly a trap. It's more like the attachment we have towards Earth that makes us reincarnate back. But now we are slowly remembering and letting that attachment go. And the best way to do that is to accept the lifestyle of Earth and just enjoy life by not getting too sorrowful and anger with not resonating with it. As you know, at times we always question, why are people like this? Why is Earth like this? Why can't humans be more loving, kind, understanding to each other? Why is there so much conflict, wars and corruption, all this bad stuff? I do not understand. This can be a past life regression or trauma carried from Lyra and something that we need to clear, we need to let go of. And so some, some Lyran starseed chose not to be spiritual and they chose to enjoy life on earth. They enjoy eating, which as Lyrans originally we don't need to eat. And by eating, I mean not just vegan, but eating meat as well. They enjoy entertainment on, on earth, even though some of them, many of them actually are considered low vibration, but we enjoy them. It's okay. No harm is done. Now, entertainment is all okay because no harm is actually done. The problem is just the addiction is the problem. <laughs> As you know, addiction and attachment is practically the same thing. So as long as we are not attached or too attached or addicted to something, we're fine. We can enjoy anything we want as long as we are, as long as we are not harming anybody. But all of this is not the fault of Earth souls. It's not their fault. I'll now tell you the history of Lyra and Earth. This is the information I channeled. Lyrans wasn't the only beings involved with planet Earth. As time goes on, Earth was the center of attention around benevolent beings, malevolent beings, and neutral beings. Earth is very popular. And let me tell you, when Lyra was destroyed, our project was also later destroyed and altered. But Lyra was one of the main mothers that helped raise the Atlanteans and Lemurians. But was later obstructed by malevolent beings. These three beings are again the Draconians, the Orions, and the Anunnakis. Not all of them are evil. I don't want to flame them as evil, but those were the three beings that were the main beings that were treating Earth as their own playgrounds. The Anunnaki beings are part of the reptilians. Not all of them have reptile forms, but they were hybrids created by the Draconians through DNA morphing, just like the Greys. The agenda of Anunnaki was to create a slave force on Earth to serve them through DNA manipulation. They are worshipped and feared as gods by humanity. I saw an image where currently many of the Anunnaki and rept or reptilians are stationed underground, but I won't go too in depth with that. In a way, the Anunnakis were like the abusive father of humanity. So back to where Lyrans were building heaven on earth. I saw an image of the Babel of Tower, which was a powerful technology that shields the earth with love vibration. They also created temples and stargates portals, connecting to Lyra and many different places. And then there is the Tree of Life for us to get unlimited energy without eating so that we won't starve. Lyrans helped the Atlanteans and Lemurians with their evolution, but later was misled by dark forces to fight amongst each other. The war between Atlantis and Lemuria. And this led to the destruction of Lemuria. Atlantis was destroyed differently though. Now things get really weird from here, but bear with me. I saw two images while I was meditating. In the first image, I saw tons of warships underwater and on, on air, both which only exist 
in sci-fi. This was one of the major wars between Atlantis and the outsiders that were trying to invade. But what destroyed Atlantis was the second image, a giant turtle. You know like those kaijus from the movies that devour the cities like Godzilla? It was that. The giant turtle wiped out the entire civilization of Atlantis. Yeah, this is very different, the images I got. Perhaps there's many multi-different timelines of how civilization was destroyed. And one of the timelines was the kaiju, giant monster that destroyed the city. But there's a good explanation for that is, this beast was also created through DNA breeding and morphing. There was a spaceship above Gaia, constantly watching and they did not have good intentions. They treated Earth as its own experimentation ground. They breeded many creatures on Earth through DNA manipulation. For example, the dinosaurs, the mammoth, the nephilims. They are also responsible for the asteroids and meteors that killed all the ancient creatures too. Originally, Lyra was supposed to be its mother, but the Anunnaki got rid of all the goddesses and feminine figures, replacing them with masculine figures, the abusive masculine figures, to be precise. This is to create slaves to comply and obey and to be controlled. We all have that DNA inside, inside us, but we're slowly starting to crack it. During the end of the Galactic War, there was an agreement made between all sides. Whether if it's the good or bad or neutral side, they led to the conclusion that humans will decide what they want based on their free will. And we are not allowed to interfere directly. So no DNA morphings, no weather manipulation, no magic, all of that. So you see why Earth is very normal. <laughs> Normal in a way that there's no, you know, supernatural stuff are mostly denied. But yes, it's all up to humanity to decide, to decide which path to take. They can still communicate with us as they like, but the rest is up to us. Whether we do things out of love and benevolence or destruction, it is our choice.